discuss is Eric Alper. He's a music commentator. Hello there, Eric. Good to see you. Good to see you and not on the other side. That's right. I know. Every time we talk, it's because someone has passed. Adele, alive and well. So alive in facts that she says she wants to build on the life that she has been creating for the last seven years. What do you think's going on here? The audience was obviously very upset when she made this announcement over the weekend that she was going to be taking this long break. Yeah, they really shouldn't be surprised. You know, ever since that Adele broke on the scene, she's taken a lot of strategic and very, very personal breaks to allow her to return to the stage and the recording studio more creative, stronger, and more connected to her audience. Ever since the monumental success of her album 21, which became one of the biggest selling albums of all time, um, she welcomed her son into the world and decided to focus on motherhood after that tour. And then the break between her albums 25 and 30, she once again stepped back from the limelight. That's the album that had Hello and When We Were Young. But behind the scenes, though, she was grappling with a lot of significant personal changes. She ended up separating from her husband and she navigated the whole complexities of divorce and co-parenting. Then, of course, the global pandemic of 2020. We all know that everybody was off the road, but she came back with the album 30, and that allowed her to recharge and reconnect with her roots. So a lot of these breaks and a lot of these intervals, it's really a willingness to prioritize her personal well-being over the demands of fame. That's a really good reminder that sometimes the most powerful thing that an artist can do is not necessarily release single by single by single and be on social media all the time. It's actually take a step back and breathe and come back stronger than ever. Yeah, and enjoy life. So now, just listening to you, Eric, I'm thinking that all the rumors are going to start that she'll be back and release an album called 40. Let's hope. I mean, it would be awful if her next album was 50 and then we had to... <laughs> years for this but yeah you know th this is a, a time in her life where her son is now going to be heading into being a teenager um who knows really what's going on personally unless she announces it she's been a very very private person um when she's off the the stage but she's you know written songs about heartache and self-acceptance and resilience and whatever and whenever she decides to come back rest assured that not only is the album going to be great, but she's going to have something important to say, not only about her own life, but holding up a mirror to us as people and as society and as people who grew up listening to her. We're all going to be kind of thinking, yeah, I'm going through the same things. Yeah, takes a lot of confidence to walk away when you're at the top. Uh, Eric, good to see you today. Thank you so much for having me. We'll talk soon. Some of the